I'm Scott Porter, and I am the owner and founder of Fido's Tap House. And I'm his other half. <laughs> Fido's is actually the first business to combine adoptable rescue dogs with a craft beer tap room. <laughs> she likes the ciders. I pick out all the beers and the ciders, but I like the beers. I stepped into a cat cafe. I didn't think the business was set up well. Patrons were complaining that the cats did not want to play with them because they're cats. But my son made the comment from that. He said, man, if they only had dogs, that wouldn't be a problem. And it was just like, boom. I thought, man, if I could put adoptable rescue dogs, combine that with the tap room, that would be something special. I spent a lot of time contacting charities to see how they would be receptive to the idea, and every single charity that I contacted thought it was fantastic. It took us three years after that thought to actually open the doors. Our charity partner is Oregon Friends of Shelter Animals. We bring in dogs from California, and this is one of the places where they stay until they find an adoptive home. We're celebrating today is the one year anniversary of Fido's opening, and which also means it's the one year celebration of our partnership with them. Up to this point, we had adopted 50 rescue dogs. And he was actually the number 50th dog to be adopted here in this last year. Oh, wow, so, yeah, funny. he's a little special one, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just that joy that you get every day from going home to meet your dog is what we get all the time with three, four dogs here every single day. The best part of owning the bar has been meeting all the people that come in. The dogs are wonderful, but it's really the people that have the stories behind their dogs and what the dogs do for them. I first heard of Fido's uh, actually on the news. This would be our every Friday night hangout. It's a great thing. I came across Teddy's picture and I begged my husband, I'm like, we have to go, we have to go see him, we have to check out this dog. We give him so much love and he's honestly like rescued us more than the other way around because he brings us so much joy. Yeah, so we're so grateful for this place. I'm here to adopt this little guy Barkley and I sat with him for about a half an hour and then I decided I liked him a lot and so I put in my app and, and here we are today. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of a hard part of the job saying bye to the faces that I've gotten used to. But I know that they're going to homes that are gonna love them, so it, it works out. I think there should be more places like this, especially like to rescue the dogs that really need homes. Like it's really important. Four years ago, this thought popped into my head. I wonder how would have named all the families that have helped us through dogs. It's been wonderful. We have some families here. Dogs and people and beer and food, I think it's, we have the great concept here. Without Fido's, we wouldn't have adopted 50 dogs. So we are really appreciative of the way they've worked so hard and to promote dog charities, not just ours. Um, and to help us adopt some pups. That type of loyalty and companionship that a dog provides is just, it's just unmatched. 